Our daughter read very early. We live in San Diego, so it just seemed natural, since Ted Geisel lived there as well, to buy his books because he would sign them. Lucky you. Yes. The first two books I bought approximately 30 years ago, and I believe the seven Lady Godivas was approximately $175, and the 500 hats was $25. How long ago did you purchase the Oh Say Can You Say? This was published the year my daughter was born in 1979, so I would have paid whatever the retail was at that time, probably under $10. Yeah, cover price. The Oh Say Can You Say title has an inscription in the lower left side. That is to my daughter. This was her favorite book when she was little. Even before she could read, we would read out loud. And of all the Dr. Seuss books, this is probably one of the most difficult to read out loud because your tongue gets all twisted. Boy, I can relate to that. Notice how on the book for Kendra there, it's signed in the lower left corner of the page. Yes. Dr. Seuss never signed books on the title page of the book or anywhere else, always in the lower left-hand corner. Over by me, we have the Seven Lady Godivas, an extremely early Dr. Seuss book that uh, in, published in 1939, it's first edition, in a dust jacket, all the jacket is worn and that hurts its value a bit. It's probably one of the more provocative and racy titles that Dr. Seuss ever did. And the cover is kind of racy too. <laughs> so are the illustrations inside. <laughs> Lastly, you brought The 500 Hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. Uh, all three books I should mention are all autographed by Dr. Seuss. Only Oh Say Can You Say is autographed to your daughter. The other two are simply signed with best wishes Dr. Seuss in his trademark lower left corner spot. They're all first editions. They have their dust jackets other than the Oh Say Can You Say book. It's delightful to see a collection of early Dr. Seuss's like this, and that you had the foresight to pick them up back then. I've always enjoyed him. You paid a fair amount of money way back when, when you bought them. Yes, I did. But do you have any idea what they're worth today? No. As we sit here, I have no idea what they're worth today. The Seven Lady Godivas, we have an ephemeral piece of paper that was issued with the book when it was first published and it's not attached to the book. This was intended as a bookmark, and there's not very many of those in existence anymore, and that adds to its value. That's nice to know. In the chip jacket that it's in, signed first, 1,500. The 500 hats would be 1,000 to 1,500, and about approximately 500 to 600 for the Oh Say Can You Say. The three books together would be worth between three to four thousand dollars at retail. Oh my goodness, that's considerably more than I would have thought. Considerably more than I paid. My daughter will be shocked. <laughs>